the rights you have as a woman in the UK. Not just rights in terms of living in the UK, also in terms of living with your partner in the UK. There are so many things that you shouldn't tolerate as a woman. Do not be afraid that if you speak of this and that will happen to you. If you're an African woman going through domestic abuse in the UK, I just want you to know that you don't have to go through that. You have a voice. If you're a man watching this, you also need to know some things you cannot do to your wife in the UK. Forget that you guys are married, you guys are African, you moved to the UK, but yeah, here is different. You need to abide by the law or your wife can actually report you and get you in trouble. So we all need this awareness. We all need to educate ourselves and that's what I'm making in today's video. Hey lovelies, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new, my name is Faith Ojone and on this channel, I talk about ways you can travel abroad and settle abroad. I provide you resources on how you can get started. I share latest information about the UK, how you can move to the UK, how you can settle in the UK, what is happening in the UK. So if this is the kind of content you like, hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I share content like this. Without saying so much, let's get started. In December 2015, that's almost 10 years ago, the UK introduced some things into the law controlling or cohesive behavior in an intimate or family relationship. So I'm just going to talk about the things that the law is protecting you even if you're married in a relationship or you're living with your family member so that you know this. In case you're going through this, you need to speak up because you are going to be protected. And I'm going to explain everything, including the immigration laws, like everything about your visa and how to speak up and after that i'll now tell you as a woman living in the uk the laws that protect you as a woman so you know all of these things and you know you have rights you know you have power you know you speak up okay on the 3rd march 2015 the act creates a new offense of controlling or cohesive behavior in intimate or family relationship section 76 the new offense closes a gap in the law around patterns of controlling or cohesive behavior in an ongoing relationship between intimate partners or family members the offense carries maximum sentence of five years imprisonment or a fine if you're displaying this type of behavior you will either be sentenced to five years imprisonment or fine or both so you need to watch this video to the end so that you don't get yourself into trouble the type of behavior associated with cohesion or control may or may not be constitute a crime offense in their own right it is important to remember that the presence of controlling or cohesive behavior does not mean that no other offense has been committed or cannot be charged however the perpetrator may limit space for action and exhibit a story of ownership and entitlement over the victim such behavior include isolating a person from their friends and family is illegal in the uk depriving them of their basic needs it's illegal in the uk monitoring their time it's illegal in the uk monitoring a person via online communication tools or using spyware is illegal in the uk taking control over aspects of their everyday life such as where they can go who they can see what to wear and when they can sleep is illegal in the uk depriving them of access to support and services such as specialist support or medical service is illegal in the uk repeatedly putting them down such as telling them they are worthless is illegal in the uk enforcing rules and activities such as humiliating them degrading or dehumanizing the victim is illegal in the uk forcing the victim to take part in criminal activities such as shoplifting neglect or abuse of children to encourage self-blame and prevent disclosure to authorities is illegal in the UK. Financial abuse including control of finances such as only allowing a person a punitive allowance is illegal in the UK. Threat to a child is illegal in the UK. Threat to reveal or publish private information e.g. threatening to out someone is illegal in the UK. Assault is illegal in the UK 
criminal damage such as destruction of household goods, rape, preventing a person from having access to transport or from working is illegal in the UK. All this behavior, the government have listed it on their website that it is illegal and it could land you in prison for five years or you pay a fine. So if you're watching this video and you're going through any of this behavior at home, it doesn't matter from your partner, from your parents, from your guardian, from anyone, you shouldn't be experiencing this in the UK. This behavior is both for family and intimate relationships. So if you're living with your family member and they're treating you this way, you can report it. Yes, you can and nothing will happen to your visa. It is important to consider how any additional needs and barriers may affect the ability and willingness of individual victims to recognize or report abusive behavior. Perpetrator may try to exploit such vulnerabilities in order to maintain control or try to prevent the victim from seeking help. Example, impairment. Victims may face additional form of violence related to any impairment such as physical disability, mental health difficulties, learning disabilities and all of that. Sometimes your family member or your partner might take advantage of people who are vulnerable. Vulnerable in the sense that maybe they have disabilities or they are restricted or they need visa stay in the UK, their ethnicity. So this can be vulnerabilities. If you're a dependent, for example, maybe you move to the UK with your husband, you are going to be his dependent. So if you're on his visa or you're married to a British citizen and you're in a spousal visa and they keep threatening you if you do anything, you know, some people might want to endure those torture and horror because of the visa. So the government have actually acknowledged all of these vulnerabilities that it can be used against you. So if you are a vulnerable person you have any disability you can still speak up because nothing will happen the government will take charge so your family member or partner might take advantage of your vulnerability because you can't speak or you have learning disability you have autism or you have any mental health issues so they might want to be like oh if you report they can just pin it on your disability the government is saying that no it is not so perpetrator may think that a disabled person or a person with learning difficulty will not be believed by the police or court or could be prevented from reporting a crime to the police the mental health capacity act 2005 covers people in england and wales who cannot make some of the decision for themselves special measure including the use of intermediary may be available in some cases in order to address some of the difficulties and weaknesses with a disability or learning difficulties may have they'll provide you with resources to help you speak up so do not feel like because you're disabled you're not going to be listened to or no one will believe what you're saying like you are protected okay the next one is ethnicity those from black and minority ethnic background may experience additional barrier to receive help or report abuse this may include a distrust of the police or concerns about about racism, language barrier, concerns about family finding out or the fear of rejection by the wider community. Ethnicity play a huge role because we all come from Africa and we believe that family stays together no matter what through thick and thin. No, a family shouldn't be making you feel like crap. A family shouldn't be threatening you. A family shouldn't be restricting you from your own money. A family shouldn't be telling you what to do. Like you have the right in the UK. This is not Africa. This is the UK. If your family family member is having any sort of this behavior towards you, you can report them and nothing is going to happen. You are going to be protected. The immigration status. Those subjected to immigration control may face additional barrier when attempt to escape domestic abuse. This circumstance may make them more reluctant to come forward and report abuse. Such circumstances may also be exploited by perpetrator to exert control over victim. For example, by threatening to inform a immigration authorities or to no longer support their stay. In some circumstances, victims may be allowed to stay in the UK if they can show they have experienced domestic abuse in a relationship with a British person or a settled partner. The list goes on, okay? So if you are subjected to an immigration control, someone who is subjected to an immigration control is someone who still requires visa to be in the UK. If you've not gotten your permanent residency and you need a visa to remain in 
in the UK and maybe the person you're under his visa or her visa is abusing you in the relationship you can still speak up there's a particular visa that they've created for people experiencing domestic abuse if you're experiencing domestic abuse and you report and they confirm it's true they are going to give you I think a permanent residency temporary permanent residency in the UK so you no longer required to have a visa so like you are protected if you're being abused in your relationship and you're restricted to immigration control please speak up because they have a visa for you that they can put you on and i'll leave the link of what visa you can get you are protected as a woman you do not have to experience any sort of abuse in your relationship in your family the uk got you covered if you are watching this video and you have any of this behavior you need to change because if you're reported you're going to go to prison for five years and you're going to pay fine and trust me you do not want anything negative to go on your record because once that you have a dense image you have a bad record it's just going to be harder for you to live in this country you shouldn't be feeling like oh because i'm a woman in the uk there is no so much for me to do like you know back home women are limited here in the uk you are your own limits the uk is gender neutral they believe so much in gender equality that's to say any job a man can do you can do it as well as long as you qualify for the job you apply you get it there are so much opportunities for you as a woman to grow in terms of career in terms of business anything you want to do as a woman in the uk you are not going to be restricted i mean if you want to work in construction as a woman you can get the job so nobody is going to be like oh i'm not going to employ you because you're a woman because this job requires as a man or i'm not going to employ you because you're a mom we need single ladies that is discrimination if you're applying for any role or maybe you get a job and you're being discriminated because you are a woman then you can actually sue that company there's so much more you can do as a woman in the uk you are making this video to create some sort of awareness so if you're coming from africa you're coming as a married woman just know that you can be more you don't have to be a stay-at-home mom if you are a career lady you can be more your husband does not have the right to tell you to stay home and not work you can work if you want to work i know there are kids who is going to look after the kids both of you have to find a way to look after the kids i'm not saying do not respect your husband i'm not the kind of woman that believe in the 1980s sort of marriage honestly sometimes when my mom come over and see the way me and my husband behave she'll be like oh faith you don't respect i said no i should be kissing his feet look for me i see marriage as equals okay me and my husband we are partners i'm an individual before i got married he's an individual before he got married to me we coming together should we helping each other grow build and support each other's careers and dreams okay and if we have kids it should be balanced i take care of the child today you take care of the child tomorrow it is our child we both have to take care of the child you can't stay because you're the woman you need to stay at home and watch over the kids this is the uk no one has the right to tell you that in africa yeah they can do that because it's our culture but in the uk you can be anything you want to be as a woman Woman, whether you have kids or not you can work if you want to work if the husband does not want you to work that is not good okay so when you come to the uk please leave that mentality back home of oh women are supposed to stay at home women should not have dreams women should not achieve anything women no you can be anything you want in the uk just start okay so this is all the information i said i should come share with you if you are a woman out there going through any sort of abuse just know that you can speak up and not what happened to your visa and i hope this video helps someone and guys thank you so much for watching we have come to the end of this video if this video was helpful give it a thumbs up like share comment subscribe and tell me what you think in the comment section guys i'll see you in my next video bye